Good morning class and welcome to Ballistics University. I'm the professor and this is Dirty Harry's 44 Magnum. Today we're going to talk about revolvers. The 44 Magnum was developed by Elmer Keith and Smith and Wesson back in the early 50s. And it's kind of a misnomer because the bullet diameter is not 44, it's .429. But this was back at the time when cases were named by the bullet diameter as it fits inside the case. When you take the .429 bullet, put it inside this case, its diameter is actually .44. So that's why it's called the 44 Magnum and is an addition to the 44 Special. 44 Magnum is about an eighth of an inch longer. The reason they did that is not really so they could put a whole lot more powder in, but so the more powerful cartridge would not fit in a least powerful gun. You don't want to put a 44 Magnum in a 44 Special gun, which was built back in the 20s because the metallurgy just won't withstand the pressures and the gun will blow up. So that's why the 44 Magnum case is a little bit longer. Now this pistol itself, like most, can shoot either single action or double action. Now the cylinder is in, the gun is clear. Watch what happens when you pull the trigger or cock the hammer, you'll see the trigger will move to the fire position. So now all you need is just a slight little touch on the trigger and the hammer will move. Or you can pull the trigger in its arc, which is called double action. Pull it all the way back and as you see the hammer comes back too until it finally reaches the end and then slides forward again. So this pistol can be shot either single action or double action, depending. Single action is more easily to shoot, better for target shooters, because all of it is a little slight pressure. And that's it, and the gun will fire. 44 Magnum can be loaded to smaller, uh, lighter pressures, just like the 44 Special did. So I think now we'll shoot a couple rounds with the 44 Special, and you can see how it impacts the target, and then shoot some with the 44 Magnum, you can see the difference. When Dirty Harry did film in 1970s, he actually used a gun uh, similar to this with an 8 and 3 8 inch barrel and a 6 and a half inch barrel. They used both guns when they were filming the movie because the 6 and a half inch barrel was shorter and was easier to holster. So if you ever saw him drawing the gun from the holster, it was a shorter 6 and a half inch barrel. When they showed him pointing it at someone, it looked more intimidating with the longer barrel so that's why they used the longer barrel for the 44 Magnum for, the, for those shots. So let's load it up and shoot some 44 Specials. All right, range is hot. Double action, see if I hit anything. Now I've often heard the question, Professor, how do you unload and reload these things? Sometimes they're really a pain in the butt. The best way to unload a 44 Magnum or any other type of revolver is to put it on the latch release, push it towards you, keep your fingers in here like this, hold it so it won't close, turn it upside down, and push on the rod. Best way to empty it, they'll fall right in your hand. Otherwise you're fumbling around trying to get your other hand in there just the best way to do it. Hold the cylinder open, turn it upside down, and push on the ejection rod. I've also had people say, Professor, Professor, what's the best way to load this revolver? Because again, you're fumbling trying to get the thing and put the bullets in it. A speed loader is the best way to do it. It holds six shots, put them in one at a time, lock it in place. Now it's ready to drop right in the cylinder. Now let's fire six shots with the 44 Magnum. You'll be able to see the difference in the recoil. 240 grain bullet. Love this gun. Range is hot. Oh, 
revolver is a solution to a problem they had in the 1800s. Rifles were all single shot. You load in one round, you shoot the gun, you eject that round, you put another one in, you close the door or move the rolling block and you shoot it again. It took time to reload. There had to be a way to shoot more than one shot without reloading. The answer was the revolver. It's called the revolver because the cylinder revolves around a fixed point and lines up with a fixed barrel. So you can shoot six times without reloading this revolver. It's a simple solution to a problem they had back in the 1800s. Now, an interesting thing about this, this is a Smith & Wesson. The cylinder rotates counterclockwise. The mechanism inside rotates the cylinder for each hammer, so it rotates counterclockwise. This is a Colt, basically the same design, but the cylinder rotates clockwise. Samuel Colt decided he wanted his cylinder to revolve in the opposite direction. I'm not really sure why, but that's the way it is. 38 Specials are very popular in revolvers, and they've been using law enforcement for years. 38 Special is called 38, even though the bolt diameter is .357, because like the 44, it is measured at the thickest point of the case, where the projectile sits down inside the case and expands it out a little bit. The 357 broke that tradition and named it after the actual bullet diameter, which is 0.357. As you can see, the cases are a little bit longer, a little bit different in size. Again, for pretty much the same reason as the 44. It's not that you really got a whole bunch more powder in here, but it operated under a higher pressure and you didn't want to put a 44 Magnum in a 38 special gun because it would blow the gun apart. So that's why they made the cartridge a little bit longer. Now let's compare the relative distance uh, difference between a 38 and a 44 Magnum. I'll load up this pistol with some 38 rounds to shoot the gong and then use a speed loader, load it up with 357 and you'll be able to see the difference. Range is hot. Release the cylinder, push down the operating rod. And now, 357 Magnum. Four inch barrel, more easy to conceal, better for law enforcement. Eight and three eighth inch barrel, better for target shooting, more velocity, and certainly looks meaner on television. And these are just two of the many different types of revolvers that are available in many different calibers. 22 caliber, 38, 357, 44, 41, 45 long Colt, just about anything you want. Thank you, class. Theodore Roosevelt said, no, I'm not a good shot, but I do shoot often. Shoot well and shoot safely.